Okay guys, back for another Dokkan battle video. And today we're taking a look at LR, Goten and Trunks, fully easy aid. Uh, they are 90% in the Dew system. Level 10 links in the ultimate red zone. Now, uh, I had actually recorded runs against Bojack and Omega. Uh, but I've decided to hop back into the Bojack stage because what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrap that original Bojack run. And we're going to run Goten and Trunks on this setup just because on this setup I can almost use them on their 200% leader score which is a margin vegeta a double margin vegeta team now of course i don't have margin vegeta so i myself am running str vegeta but i think this would be a better opportunity to take a look at their stats because they look a lot lot better uh once you have them on the 200% leader score so i did get them in slot seven of course so we are now here on turn three um we also actually sustained a lot of health i say a lot of health but we sustained a lot of damage just because the physical trunks here of course, he only gets his damage reduction when Goten um, is attacking in the same rotation, and he didn't really get a super attack in that previous turn anyway. So, defense is 75k, but I'm going to pop a Android A item here. Right, now defense has jumped up to 130k, which is pretty good. Again, they have Shocking Speed and Legendary Power Active. I think we could probably get rid of Goku here. Uh, we'll have SDR Vegito attack Goku as well. And then the int Vegito is fine in attacking STR Goku as well. I'm not really going to calculate defensive stats and whatnot just yet. Uh, because we don't really have the optimal linking partners. But we've got the 30% chance of that, which is pretty good. Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, I'm getting very lucky with these uh, super attack transformations. I feel like a lot of the time it is just Super Saiyan 3 for me. Um, okay, this does suck. Because remember, when he performs a 12 key which is skinny Gotenks, he does lower his own defense, but it's not really that big of a deal because there are no attacks after Goten or... I keep saying Goten and Trunks, but it is actually Trunks and Goten, so um, I've got to keep that in mind. But yeah, there are no attacks after they attack in slot 1. So it seems as if everything so far is pretty smooth sailing. Um, I don't think I'm going to cut. Let's just keep going. Right, uh, I did actually want to put these two together, the Margin Vegeta's. Uh, the only problem, of course, is... I feel like I'd be doing a disservice by floating this guy off. He's going to be so good um, defensively, right? I think even in the next phase uh, where we, uh, you know, we're going to be going up against type disadvantage. But, like, do we keep him on rotation? Because if we do this, um, at the minimum, we're going to need three key for him to super attack. Margin Vegeta, of course, is going to be looking like this every single turn with six key. This is going to be interesting. I mean... I feel like we should just keep Gohan on main rotation, right? I feel like that's a sensible thing to do. Is it? I don't know. I really don't know what to do here. I'm going to do this. No, we got to keep Gohan on main rotation. Okay, we'll do this. Um, Okay, yeah, we got very lucky that we were able to grab the six orbs for Majin Vegeta. All right, no super attack for you, which sucks, because if you take a super attack from bulging biceps Beedo, we could be in trouble, but I think we're fine here. I'm gonna have to make sure to uh, to cut that out again. I keep coughing, like I keep wanting to cough mid sentence, so like I I, I may have just like stopped the conversation again. Um, I just had a bit of a coughing fit there, but yeah. Um, Majin Vegeta and Tech Ultimate Gohan will be fine defensively. Please don't super. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty good. Right. Okay, so we finally got the rotation that I've wanted. I'm also gonna keep that Trunks in slot one. Um, and I think what we'll do is take out Beedo. We've got a good chance to take him out, so why not? Max key as well, and this is why this LR Goten and Trunks are so good uh, with their key mechanic. They probably have like the best key mechanic for an LR, right? Just randomly at the start of turn 5 to 10 key. So at the bare minimum, they're getting 5 key, which is just so, so crazy for a unit like them who has Shattering the Limit and Shocking Speed, which by the way, we have active. So as for links, uh, great, I should have, I should have pulled this up beforehand, but we do have Shocking Speed. Shattering the limit. I believe that's the Innocence, Budding Warrior, and then Prodigies. I, I think those are the links. I'm just going to double check here. Let's see. Uh, budding Warrior, I believe, is their like, title, right? Yeah, Budding Warrior, Trunks, Kid, and Goten. Kid. I was about to say Gotenks, but uh, no, Goten. Yeah, so he shares the Innocence, Budding Warrior, and then Shattering the Limit with the Physical Trunks in slot 1, and then he gets 
shocking speed and legendary power from the floating SDR Vegeta unit. Okay, defense and 93k, not bad. Okay, that's a bit more damage than I was expecting, but this guy's not super attacked at all yet, so we've got to get him stacking a bit here. 7.1. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. That's not even Super Saiyan 3 as well. Yeah, pretty good because, again, on this rotation, defense would have been 302k. And they evaded the normal attack. Anyway, yeah, so far, Gotenks... Uh, not Gotenks. Trunks and Goten are looking pretty good. And again, I think it's just that if you put them on the 200% leader school, they start to look crazy. Um, no, we're not going to transform with you yet. Well, 225k is not as high as, as I would like. And if we do this, we can give Margin Vegeta the 6 orb. So we'll just go ahead and do that instead. We'll go with this. And then, yeah, into Vegeta can have the physical key spheres. Well, as a rainbow key spheres. We are actually going very slow. Uh, again, um, this is not like the quote, a quote-unquote really good team build. This is something that I try to make up for the LR Trunks and Goten unit. Which, again, falls back onto their issue. And that's... I don't really think they have that many great linking partners, and it's it's funny, but it's, it's ironic, right? Because I think they're on like 12 plus category teams, um, but it's just unfortunate. Their link set is a really weird amalgamation of links, right? You got like Z Fighters and Shocking Speed, which is like a Z Fighter Boo Saga type link set, and then the Innocence Prodigies uh, is is more of a you know Trunks and Goten type of link set. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. And then, yeah, the base Vegeta can have all the Intorbs. Yeah, not too bad defensively. Um, and then you have, like, Shattering the Limit and the Legendary Power, right? Which is just... It's just a random, like, it's just a random link. I mean, what's interesting is that I think eventually we are going to get LR Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks from the Legendary Election. So, I presume if they release a unit like that, hopefully they can make it to where they would link quite well. I mean, they would share Legendary Power... I feel like Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks does deserve shocking speed. He was whizzing all over the place, right, in the Boo Saga. Um, actually, we'll do this, because then we'll get the Saiyan lineage acted. Sorry, acted? Active from uh, STR Vegito. That's fine. Okay, so going pretty well so far. Uh, yeah, we'll do this again. I want to save those AGL key spheres for Trunks and Goten. Again, Margin Vegeta, yeah. I can't believe Margin, the people call him Margin Vegeta mid. It's like, no, he's pretty good. Um... You know, offense is a lot to be desired for, but defensively, he's pretty crazy. And of course, this GOAT, uh, it's been what, like, he, he dropped in 2020, so it's been two years. Or was it 2021? I think it was, no, it was 2020, uh, because he dropped the same year as STR Vegito, right? And then um, STR Vegito was the 2020 Worldwide Celebration, followed by Namek Goku and Full Path Freezer, who were the 2021 Worldwide Celebration. And who knows what we're going to get this year. This actually might just be death. We, we, we I think we're dead, right? Like, what, 500k? 540k, but we lived. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, that's good because I didn't want to restart the video. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh, right. So we have to give you the super attack. So we do have to give some of those AGL key spheres away to the trunks in slot one. That's fine. Vegito, no super attack, which sucks because he does greatly raise attack and defense on the 18 key. And I believe it's the raises defense on the 12 key, but he does have 30% damage reduction. So I think we're fine here either way. All right, so I'm expecting uh, Goten and Trunks to tank pretty well. Um, if I remember correctly, in my original run uh, on the double 170 leader skill, they were taking around 90k per normal, so I think with the extra, what, 30% of stats, they should be taking around 60, 50k, about 65k. Okay, so it's not as much of a difference as I was expecting, but, I mean, offensive stats are still ludicrously high. 7 million just very casually is pretty good. Um, right. Oh, we can use your active skill, huh? I mean, the thing is, is that currently I don't have the audio playing anyway, so... Like, does it really matter? I feel like we should because, like, we're going to be stuck here for ages. Again, typically, I like to play the animations and stuff, but we don't have them right now. So, we'll just do this. Okay. Uh, I think I'm also going to put this guy now on rotation because very, very soon we're moving into the tech phase. Tech Ultima Gohan, I think, will be fine in slot 3 there. That's good. 
and then yeah we'll give him these tech orbs for healing okay so things looking fine i think as long as uh, bojack does not super attack in slot two we will live good thing about this doko mode as well is it is a guaranteed crit okay that was actually very very slow All right, how much damage do you have for me here, Margin Vegeta? Like 7 million on a crit. That was actually some pretty good damage. Double super is pretty nice as well. Yeah, some really good damage from uh, Margin Vegeta there. Pretty good damage from you as well. Oh, you suck, Bojack. I swear. Okay, well, looks like I'm going to end the video there. I think we've seen what we've needed to see from LR, Trunks, and Goten. You know, um, they are still taking a lot of damage. Probably not worth running in this particular event. But I think if you are looking for a slot 7 option on your team, a final slot, I think they can fulfill the role fine. You definitely do not want to take this unit into the Broly stage because Broly just negates dodging. And I feel like you can get by with them just because of their 30% chance to dodge. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to guys think, I think because we're only 12 minutes into the video, what I'll do is I may just stitch some random rotations up from the, the original run. I know at the start of the video I said I would just remove that entirely, but what I might just do is show that footage up as well because again, this is Goten and Trunks on a 170 leader skill and 200% leader skill and then the other showcase or the other run was them just purely on a double 170 against bojack so thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace um all right we're just gonna keep goten and trunks in slot two you know we do this broly gets access to um super saiyan and i believe it would be saiyan warrior race right no it wouldn't be then i have said okay what is this oh it's pro oh yeah it's prodigies but we're not gonna do that uh, that is fine. We'll do this. Okay, we've got to make sure to get their 18 key. I would prefer to give all those intorbs to Broly, but it's fine. We'll save those physical orbs, I think, for the Super Saiyan 4s. I feel like this could be death. Because Broly hasn't stacked enough. Uh, and Goten and Trunks are most certainly dead from a super attack here. Okay. 3 million from Trunks. Not bad. But please don't super attack on this turn, Bojack. I mean, the, the thing with Ghost and Trunks is they do have a 30% chance of dodging. I wish they'd up that to like 50, but they didn't. Ah, oh, wow, it's like an 80k. Yeah, I don't know, man. Because it, 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 the reason why this sucks is because, again, they easy aid in January. I feel like they just missed out on the cusp of power creep. If they'd received an easy aid after the anniversary you know after the red zone had become a thing i think that would have been a lot lot better right it's a reason why i think lr goku black and zamasu their easy a uh, is going to be pretty crazy okay broly's actually tanking better than i thought which is fine um yeah we'll do this we'll do this i don't think we need to use any items because i think we will finish bojack off here and that will allow us to then pop items in the next turn all right so yeah so so far look everything's looking good again we've seen how much damage uh, go turn and trunk take. Go turn and oh no 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 no! Don't do that, Bojack. You weren't supposed to do that, my guy. Oh, well, this is gonna suck if he just decides to super attack of all things. Oh my god, he went. Oh no, we got skinny go tanks. He lowers his defense. No, oh thank thank God. That sucks. No, that. Come on. Are you kidding me? Yeah, okay, well, I think I'm going to end the video there, right? I mean, I can hop back in. I have got two more attempts for the day. But with LR Goten and Trunks taking 80k per normal on that second phase, I don't really think we need to see how much damage they would take at type disadvantage. I think they're going to be taking like 200k. I mean, we could hop back in. I could just skip to that final phase. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to hop back in and I'll catch you guys when we get to the final phase, if we get to the final phase.
Okay, he sealed. At, oh my god, he locked. Okay, <sighs> that sucks. Um, okay, so yeah, as as we said, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to transform here for sure. Whether we pop the active skill or not doesn't really matter, so we're not gonna do it. <sighs> like we can do this for the 18 key, or we can do this and get an additional rainbow key for for dodging. I think we have to do this for the 18 key. We'll do this. Uh, we'll go for the Android 8 item here. Okay. Don't know why I clicked Broly there. Alright, go to the trunks. What do you have for me? Uh, okay, wow. We just barely got the AT key. Okay. As long as Bojack doesn't super attack straight away, we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine now. Yeah, we should. Be. I mean, unless Bojack decides to super attack in slot too, right? Then we're dead. Um, so defense, again, was what? 120k? So 120 multiplied by 2.5. We'll hold off on the final bit of numbers just because, again, I don't know if Gotenks, I say Gotenks, but Gotenks and Trunks will go Super Saiyan 3 or just stay Super Saiyan 1 for the Super Attack. I mean, at least you have damage reduction still. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so you went Super Saiyan 1. Okay, so that's only a 30% defensive rate. So they will be sitting at 390k defense here. We got an additional, but it was just the normal. Still taking 85k. Wow, with an item active. Okay, I mean, I, I think I'm satisfied at this point. I think we've seen enough of Goten and Trunks in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Again, um, they take 80k. Sorry, I don't, don't know why I'm clicking on you. They take 80k per normal on the second phase. And then um, they take 80k per normal on the final phase, but with an item active. I think without the item active, again, what is their defense typically? Around 80k, so... Assuming they go Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, defense would have been 300k. I think they would probably be taking... Um, like what's actually the disparity between the defensive levels? It would be 90k, so I think, you know, just add on another 90k. They would probably be taking around 170k per normal, but... Uh, again, they're not really unit designed for the red zone. I think it could probably help, though, just because, again, they have a medium chance to dodge. So maybe as a floater, maybe as that final um, option on your team, they could get the job done, but definitely not a main rotation unit. So that being said, thank you guys for watching, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.